Please open your Bibles to the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 10. We've gotten through the first nine chapters of the ultimate book of the Bible. If you are a person who loves literature, then the Bible is for you. If you are a person who loves stories, then the Bible is for you. If you're a person who loves larger-than-life stories, epic stories, then the Bible is for you. And the ultimate part of this grand epic of the Bible is contained in, of course, the final part of the Bible, the book of Revelation. I've got a quote here for you from one of the commentators that I've been enjoying reading as I've been studying through the book of Revelation, Buist Fanning III. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Concerning this chapter in Revelation 10 that we'll be looking into this week, he said, this passage reveals the larger sense in which Revelation can aptly be called the climax of prophecy. The Bible is a prophetic book, the prophetic scriptures. And as the story of God begins with the calling of Israel, the formation of the nation of Israel, the giving of the covenant, all that Moses wrote and all that Moses predicted, we follow that storyline then continuing with the latter prophets who spoke of things that would happen into the distant future. And all that Moses talked about, all that Isaiah and Ezekiel, all that Zechariah, all that those prophets said, it comes to its climax here in the book of Revelation. And so as we study all of the prophetic scripture, all of the trains end up here in this grand central station of the book of Revelation, the ultimate book of the Bible.